Hello there, how are you? Today I'm going to be talking about Tim, Tim Dodolphin, which is uh, a, a different type of site creation tool uh, which you can, of course, use alongside with Tim Do Creator, which is a, I guess you could say, a traditional type of site builder for Tim Do. But anyways, uh, today we are going to be talking about the Dolphin, which is a little bit different and this video is basically divided into two parts so first of all i'm going to be talking about uh, Timdo dolphin a little bit what it's all about and then i'm going to show you a demo how to actually create a site with Timdo dolphin okay so first things first what is a Timdo dolphin uh it's actually a very, very quick way to create your website. And I have actually, I'm actually sharing uh, Jim Do Dolphin's uh, website, which you can access by going to www.jimdo.com slash dolphin. And I, I think that it's very important to understand something. <coughs> uh, the first thing that they say at the very beginning is that your website in three minutes. Uh, I would say that this is just an ideal situation that you can have a website up and running in three minutes. Uh, sure, Jim Do Dolphin can actually create your site very fast. Uh, and well, that's basically the whole idea behind it. You can create a site very fast, very easily, but I would still like to say that uh, it's still a starting point because eventually what you have to do and if you haven't already done that uh, you will also have to uh, create the content for your site uh, figure out what types of articles you want to create or update to your site if you have any images if you if you have any videos or anything like that so um, the three minutes is maybe applicable to a certain part of this whole website creation process and you can definitely have a website, a bare bone structure up and running very quickly, but uh, it is actually going to take a little bit more time than just three minutes to get, get your site up and running. Um, also, something to remember is that at this point you can't create uh, a blog or an e-commerce store with Jimdo Dolphin, and this is something that you can do with uh, Jimdo Creator, which is the traditional type of uh, site creation tool. Uh, also, what I realized was that the editing experience of uh, Jimdo Dolphin is a little bit different than when compared to Jimdo Creator. So uh, there is a difference, and in fact, if you decide to give uh, Jimdo a try, and actually, I have included links under this video where you can go to my blog post and take a look at my review of Jimdo, uh, an in depth review, but also you are going to find links links how to actually create your free account so you can give Jimdo a try. Uh, so you will notice most definitely that there is a difference between the editing experiences, whether you are using Jimdo Creator or uh, Jimdo Dolphin. Uh, yeah, I guess this is pretty much it. Um, I think that it's now time for a demo to show you what Jimdo Dolphin is all about and how you can actually create a site with Jimdo Dolphin. So what I have done already is that I have logged in uh, to my Jimdo account and I have deleted all uh, all my existing websites for now. And uh, I just want to walk you through this whole process of how you can create a site with Jimdo Dolphin. It's, it's actually very easy but just want to show show it to you how it works. So when you have created your account, uh, so uh, you go to your dashboard and uh, you are going to find a section 
on the page uh, saying new website. So you basically just click this uh, plus button or cross however you want to put it. And this basically, basically starts uh, the site creation process. And the next option to choose is uh, a, a what type of a site you want to create. So I mentioned that at this point you can't create a store or a blog with Simdo Dolphin, so we are going to choose a website option. So I just create a website uh, by choosing this very same button on the page. And this is where you get to choose between the Simdo Creator, which is the, the, the regular type of site creation tool, and the Dolphin. And of course, we are choosing the Dolphin because that's basically what this demo is all about. So I click Start Now button. And <clears throat> it takes a while until uh, Jimdo uh, Dolphin loads. So we are ready to get started with the Excel site creation process with uh, Jimdo. Okay, it looks very good. So the first question is, what type of a site do you want to want to build? And for this demonstration, let's say that I want to create a personal website. So I choose that one. Next question, what is the name for your site? Now, let's say that I want to create a skiing site, so I could uh, Enter, for instance, Timo's. Oh, sorry, skiing website. Very simple. Uh, and I click next, and then what is going to happen in the next section is that Jim uh, uh, Dolphin is asking me what is the topic of my website now. You can uh, scroll these options by clicking the uh, arrow pointing to, to the right. So you can basically choose whether this is related to music or photography or cars. And you can actually view more options if you want to do that. Uh, in my case, this since this site is related to skiing, so let's see if there is a sports category. Yes, there is. So I will pick that one. And next, uh, uh, Jim Do Dolphin wants me to define even further what type of a sports website I have. Well, it's skiing site, so obviously I uh, select the skiing option here. Uh, <clears throat> so the next thing, uh, and this is something that Jim Do Dolphin does, is that, uh, for instance, if you have an Instagram account, uh, you can connect your Instagram account with Simdo Dolphin and then uh, it will uh, take advantage of your uh, pictures that are found on your Instagram uh, account when it creates your website. But I do not have an Instagram account at this point, uh, so I will choose no thanks to this question. Okay. Next question. What is your favorite style? Well, there are of course, and once again, there are different options to choose from. Modern, playful, elegant, minimal, fancy. Uh, yeah, those are pretty much the options. I guess when it comes to my skiing site, I would like to keep things playful, so I select my style as playful. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, in the next section, uh, Jim Do Dolphin wants you to, wants you to select uh, the cover, uh, cover photo for your site. And once again, we had different options to choose from. Let's say that I want to pick this one, but you can, of course, 
surprise yourself by picking some random stuff but I will stick with the options that Jimdo is uh, showing me at, at this point so I choose select uh, okay so the next question or the next option that I have is that I have I have an option to register uh, a domain with this address now I'm not going to do that because there is I mean this is of course just for the demonstration purposes and when you look at the uh, URL or the address of the domain for this website there are actually two things that I try to avoid whenever I'm choosing a domain name for my websites thing number one is that uh, you know based on my own standards and I guess this is pretty much what everyone else is also telling you is is that try to keep things short if possible so for me this type of domain timos dash skiing dash website.com is just too long so in in real world if I, I I truly would be creating a skiing website I would definitely pick a shorter domain name, more memorable, you know, and, and try to spend a little bit more time on on uh, picking the right domain for my website. And of course, uh, if it's possible, I try to avoid any uh, extra characters like these dashes and, and that kind of stuff because. Uh, if I'm able to create a site or a domain without any of these <laughs> fancy characters, so it makes my domain much more memorable, and you know, it's it's so much easier for people to find my site if I do not have any of these extra dashes or anything like that on my domain name. But anyways, uh, long story short, I'm not going to pick a domain name at this point, uh, so I'm going to click. No thanks. So, next phase. Uh, Jim Dodofin is actually creating uh, my site based on uh, the selections that I did earlier. And this is pretty much the bare bones type of site that I now have. Uh, what is going to happen next? is that I'm uh, strongly suggested that I should actually do some more configurations because you want to do that and obviously like what I was telling you before is that uh, the content as it is right now is not something that I necessarily want on my on my site and uh, if I would be running a real production type of website I would probably have all the articles written already and then I would be able to update them to my site so this is just uh, an example site that Zimdo Dolphin created but anyways let me just uh, do some further adjustments to this site uh, by clicking the show me button on, on the bottom right of the page uh, actually uh, we are not going to do that yet uh, uh, I'm going to click the next button here because I want to show you some further configurations before I'm going to show you the real website that I have built with Zimdodolf. Uh, anyways, uh, you have different options to choose from and I could uh, just click here on the page to uh, edit, edit different parts of the site. Uh, let's put it like this that it's Timo skiing for instance and there are of course different editing options to choose from uh, and by clicking this arrow on the bottom right uh, you get more options to choose from and you could obviously add some own photos to this site and and you know change change the cover image of this site so we could of course do that if I'm thinking that well I would like to see something different on my website so let me just pick another photo here and it takes 
a little while and then boom the whole <laughs> layout has been changed or at least the cover photo has been changed and then what is happening next is that uh, when I click this uh, arrow at the bottom uh, it basically tells me that I'm now able to publish my site so let me just do that let me click the publish button at the, bo uh, at the top of the page and now it says that my website is live uh, obviously this took maybe a little bit more than three minutes naturally because I was telling you how this process goes so it, it takes longer but I'm still thinking that it takes longer than just three minutes to get your site up and running uh, because you want to make sure that everything is ready before you launch your site to, to your public or whether you are running a business site or a personal site you want to make sure that it looks good not necessarily perfect but that at least majority of the elements are there so that's what you should make sure that you do first before you announce your website to the world okay so if i just click this link uh so um i'm going to see my own site here uh on a new browser tab it takes a while until it loads the page here we go uh, and as you can see that these are just some example example texts or example content uh, that are here and, and you should definitely make sure that you adjust them so that uh, everything looks good before you go live and we have a little contact form there and you know for some reason this map uh, perhaps you can change that as well but uh, i'm not actually located in hamburg right now so so uh, you can perhaps change this afterwards but anyways uh, this is pretty much what Jimdo Dolphin is all about uh, I have now created my site uh, in a few minutes uh, yeah this is pretty much what I wanted to show you this time uh, the next step is obviously to do all the necessary tweaks and adjustments uh editing the content uh want to make sure that everything looks good before you go live so that's basically what you should do next uh one thing that i wanted to say very quickly is that uh, tim dodolphin is not uh, one of a kind tool out there so for instance wix has a similar type of tool called wix adi and I'm most likely going to record a video about it very soon so it does uh, or it actually helps you to create a site you know very quickly like what Jim Do Dolphin does so uh, there are definitely other online site builders who have has these tools but uh, that's uh, definitely a topic for a different video so uh, just wanted to mention briefly you about that um, anyway that's what I wanted to show you this time and uh, I will talk to you soon bye bye